Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm alive. We're alive, right, Bear? Uh huh. Yes, 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 but yes, I yes. Hear, I, I, but I hate the kids. What do you hear? I hate the bad kids. But what can only the duck kid? That's what? The duck kid. Duck what? <laughs> duck kid. Okay. Oh my gosh. Stop saying that, it's duck poop. <laughs> oh, duck poop. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long. I'm, I just wanted to make this video. I don't know if it's going to be long or if it's going to be short, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's been going on and where I've been and why I haven't been posting, why it's been pretty much a month since I posted. I all know obviously about Hurricane and I'm holding my phone. That's the only thing I have right now to record. I'm using my iPhone and I'm using this Gorilla Pod as a stick and I'm holding it and bear with me guys. So um what's been going on is that Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico tremendously and I've been living there for two years now and uh we evacuated out on Friday, two, three weeks ago, they evacuated us out. And I was there during the storm and I saw everything that was happening. I even was there a day after that. The problem that we were having there is that we were running out of food. Um, we didn't have any water. The power obviously was out. And we had no cell service. Like, it was really bad. Um, my husband and I drove out and we saw everything that was going on. About our housing area and everything like that. So, it was really bad. And I didn't expect it to hit us, like, I didn't expect it, Hurricane Maria, to hit Puerto Rico as hard as it did, even though I knew it was, like, a Category 4, Category 5 storm. It, 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 we just got hit with Irma, and it was just, like, the outside parts of Irma, and I was just like, okay, I, I didn't think that that was going to happen, where it was going to be, like, tremendously, where they were going to evacuate us out, and anyways, speeding it up, we didn't really have time to pack anything, it was really... You have 10, 15 minutes and pack whatever you can. And I really wasn't thinking about packing for myself. And I really packed mainly for my daughter. We pretty much left everything behind. Everything. We are now in Florida. So we're in Florida and uh, we're just waiting to see whether we'll be going back or not. Um, but that's pretty much what's been going on. It's just been really hectic these past couple weeks. I'm going to try and see if I can continue to post using my iPhone. I've seen a lot of people do it, so I don't see a problem with that. If anything, I will try and vlog or do workout videos because I kind of like this thing. It's kind of pretty, it's pretty cool, so I can just walk around and show you guys, like, you know, you yeah. know. But for those of you who are from Puerto Rico and have family there, my heart goes out to you guys because I know that it's, when we was there, it was, like, crazy. The light poles were down. They were long, long, and I'm talking about super long lines at the gas station. And I know right now people are trying to get water from the streams, and they say you have to boil the water because there's like bacteria and stuff in the water. So I just, I just totally understand everything that's going on. We are fine and we're okay. I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on. I'm trying to see whether we'll be able to go back to Puerto Rico because I love it in Puerto Rico, and I just don't like what's happening right now with the whole government and everything like that that's it's just so much it's so crazy but i just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on all right i'll see you guys